Today we're getting in the time machine and we're going back all the way to 1983 and we're looking at the New Wave Toys Replicade Food Fight Arcade. This is their latest and greatest release. As always, I always have to commend New Wave Toys on their super collector friendly packaging. The box comes in a box that comes in a box and has all sorts of padding and protection and it's just fantastic option out there. Uh, one key detail I want to point out is the outer carton has this, you know, this side up, fragile Atari Incorporated, do not fork this side. You know, this awesome aesthetic that you would find anytime you bought one of these old school arcade machines and had it delivered directly from the manufacturer, it would show up in a giant cardboard box on a pallet just like that. We're looking at the Food Fight Arcade. This is specifically the pre-order exclusive variation. Um, a couple of differences it has is the kid up here has a striped shirt on the artwork as well as we got yellow T-molding trim, whereas the normal release has black and he has a just solid color shirt. Those are the subtle differences between the two. New Wave Toys was nice enough to send this out to me to go ahead and review. I've reviewed every single one of their cabinet releases today. I love all their products. I've got everything from their New Wave Toys replicated line. The machine itself ain't too bad on the eyes either. Artwork looks beautiful, vibrant colors. I always love the design aesthetic of these cabinets that you know have a little more uh, customized shape. They don't fall in line with the cookie cutter uh, designs that some of those companies back in the day were doing. So like Taito, they had a lot of their cabinet games all aesthetically basically look identical to one another. I like them when they all look unique and uh, different from one another. We've got the front kick plate artwork with our four chefs on it with the pies, the tomatoes, the watermelons, all sorts of stuff you're gonna throw. If you're not familiar with Food Fight, basically how I would describe it is Robotron Diet Cola. So this is a much more tame version of Robotron. Single joystick instead of two joystick, but plays very much the same. Uh, one thing, key detail, this is an analog joystick, which is absolutely phenomenal that New Wave Toys can make something so small that still functions uh, because this is not not something you're gonna be able to go to a manufacturer and say, hey, uh, go to your shelf and uh, give me this part or this part. No, New Wave Toys has to invest to make all these customized small components on their own, which I know is expensive. And I greatly appreciate the added details they went to. Um, this is another one of their newer releases where we have the CRT lens effect screen on here. So basically it concaves and convexes where it manipulates and distorts the screen image a little bit. The screen itself is behind this lens. Has a little bit of contour around it, so that way it actually kind of looks like an old school CRT uh, monitor that you would find in these arcade machines. So LCD behind it, but it still has that kind of CRT look. Um, if you want to go further into it, you can go into the customized settings on this machine and add scan lines, so that way it really kind of looks like that old school arcade monitor. But control-wise, you got your volcano buttons for player one and player two. You got throw buttons to throw your food left and right, your analog joystick and your coin buttons here. You push those in to add your credits. You can actually open the coin doors, which I think is fantastic. The marquee lights up just like all the other replicate arcade machines. It looks beautiful, no light bleed or anything like that. We do get added accessories with this machine. So first and foremost, you get your operator's manual that is made to look like the original operator's manual that these arcade cabinets came with. So I think that is always an amazing touch that they go to that detail, find the original artwork and the graphics of the operator's manual and use them. There's a warning you'll see right here. It says warning banana top joystick is for display purposes only and not recommended for gameplay. You're like, what? What are you talking about? So it comes with a banana. You're like, why does it come with a banana? So when this game was first being tested in the markets, they put a banana joystick on it because number one, it fits the theme. And number two, that's, you know, an idea that I get kids and adults alike to say, hey, what is that machine? Let me go put a quarter in it. It's got a goofy looking banana joystick. So as an homage to that, they've included a banana topping joystick. So when this machine actually got released to the public, they actually decided not to use the banana joystick and just use the standard analog joystick, which I don't blame them. This would probably get broke off immediately. Um, by kids back then, but if you want to use it, you can go ahead and unscrew the little ball top here on the joystick and it goes right over the top. Now it doesn't screw on or anything like that, which is part of the reason why they're saying display purposes only, don't use it. Can you use it? Yes. Is it going to be the best experience? No. So uh, I, I recommend you listen and adhere to the suggestions of New Wave Toys and really don't use that banana for anything other than your display purposes. 
Another cool accessory we got is these three uh, chewed up pieces of bubble gum. These are stick on adhesive little stickers. You can put them anywhere on your cabinet or anywhere in your diorama or whatever. But if you've ever had a run in with any of these old school arcade cabinets in real life, I can guarantee you there's chewing gum stuck somewhere on that machine, whether it be inside, outside, underside, you name it. It's pretty impossible to uh, find a 30 year old machine that didn't have a wad of chewing gum shoved in it somewhere. So I think that's an awesome little touch. And of course it goes with the food fight theme. And with all replicates, we get these little micro mini quarters. Again, the coin doors, you just push the buttons to add credits. You don't actually have to put these tiny uh, little quarters in there if you want to play a game. So don't worry about that. We also have a couple extra little rubber feet you can stick on the cabinet anywhere. It does come with rubber feet on the bottom side. So if you're putting on a smooth surface, don't have to worry about it sliding all over the place. Of course, we have our micro USB charging cable. And around back, I should point out, we have two USB ports as well as an HDMI out port. So you're thinking, oh, okay, this looks cool and everything, but God, that would be a nightmare to try to play on this, you know, with adult size hands. And you'd be partially right. Thankfully, you can connect this to your television of choice, uh, connect your game controller of choice, plug it in here, connect it to your TV, and then voila, you can essentially play this game with a standard controller on your HD TV. And that's what I'm gonna show you how to do right now. All right, so now we have the cabinet hooked up to an LCD TV via HDMI. Uh, I've got a USB Xbox One, just run of the mill controller plugged into the back of it. Everything's straightforward. Uh, keep in mind, once you do plug the HDMI cord into your TV, you're not gonna get any display on your actual unit. The marquee and your buttons and all that'll still be lit up and everything, but the LCD display on the arcade itself will not. So I'm gonna hit select, which I would expect to be my credit. And sure enough, it is. Hit start. In my opinion, this is another successful, amazing release from New Wave Toys with the Replicate lineup. I mean, it's super versatile with the HDMI output and the USB inputs and things like that. It's gorgeous, you know, the worksmanship that goes through these things with the, the lens and the, the light up LEDs and just, I'm amazed at how well they pull it off. Wood cabinet, analog joystick for crying out loud. I mean, this is another amazing release. So if you're interested in picking one up, I'll try to put product links down in the video description box below if there's any left in stock. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the like button, share this video with your friends if you found the information helpful. And as always, thanks for watching guys. It really means a lot.